Welcome to video four. In this video we'll talk about the grouper tab. But before I get started, um, I didn't really like the way those phone keywords were working out. I don't actually know anything about the phone or mobile phone industry. So in this case I'm going to just generate some new keywords and I'm going to create a Windows campaign. Something I kind of know a little bit about. So I'm just swapping some of these lists back and forth. We'll generate some keywords here. And then let's go ahead and just transfer these over here and get some more ideas. And while these are going, I'll pretty much just say that we're going to create groups and we can do that by three methods. The first, we can manually type them in here. The second, we can use this analyze button to analyze the keyword density of our list. Third, we could use the automatic keyword grouper. So these three methods here on this tab, in the lower left here, this is a filter area and then you can export your keyword frequencies here by using this export button and I'll show you how all this works. So now we have 1054 keywords. Um, let's go ahead and just add these to the main keyword list just for demonstration purposes. This keyword list is small. It's only 1054 keywords. So we can see we have keywords here. So first what we can do is group simply by typing something in. For example, we wanted to create a group called Pella. These are all the keywords that contain Pella. And if we hit enter on our keyboard here, like so, what we just did is created a group called Pella. If we go and look at the, the keywords in that group for Pella, we can see that they are all Pella related. And so you can group manually by simply just typing something in and hitting enter or you can use this analyze button and when you click this it looks at the keyword density of your keyword list based on the settings that you set here under the analyze frequency what also gets taken into account is the grouping method and also the minimum number of keywords per group and the merge singular or plural words into the same group and so there's also this feature you can group each keyword into its own ad group but I won't talk about that in this video. For now, let's just use two word and three word frequencies. We're going to say a minimum of five keywords or more must be there in order to create a group. And so when we click the analyze button, you'll see down here when you scroll down, there won't be anything less than five. This means the group will be created because there's at least five keywords that could go into that group and that group name will be called whatever you choose based on whatever you select here in the data grid area. So for example, if we wanted to create a group called Vinyl Windows, we click that and we could either create the group, we could delete the keywords associated to Vinyl Windows completely. If we, ch if we select this delete groups, it deletes anywhere in here that contains vinyl windows, that phrase. Likewise, we could click negative and that will do the same thing. It will delete all the vinyl windows keywords from this main keyword list area, but it will also add the phrase vinyl windows down here in this filter box as a negative keyword to think about. And so that's, it basically just allows you to create a list of negatives. So let me show you how that works. Let's actually go ahead and put this on one word frequencies save changes and now I'm just getting the one word frequency of this list and so maybe video is something we don't want to bid on definition so people looking to define you know what X window means maybe citing maybe we don't do citing for our replacement window company maybe we don't do window wells or maybe XP because that is related to a computer. Curtains, rods, locks, screens, for example, and so on. We can go through these one word frequencies and immediately see what's not relevant, like blinds, or this has to do with Windows 8. So let's just go ahead and select these. The way I'm selecting them is I'm holding the control key on my keyboard and I'm just clicking the cell. And when I do that, you can see down here in the group's preview, 
what actually shows up. So now with these selected, let's go ahead and add these as negatives. Right click it, click negative, and then you might have noticed the keyword list got smaller. It went from 1050 something to 927. The reason is those keywords related to those phrases were removed from this keyword list and those phrases were added in this filter box area so we can use as potential negatives when we create our campaign later. So now we can reanalyze the keyword list with those negatives removed. From here we can make a decision on whether we want to create groups out of brand names for example or whether we want to create them off of the type of window, um, the material that the window is made from, and so on. So here we have double hung windows. That's a type of window. You see how there's double hung windows and double hung window. There's singular and plural version of that. If we wanted to check this box here, merge singular and plural keywords into the same group, and we hit save changes, then reanalyze the keyword density, we're only going to see double hung windows and single hung windows so we have the plural the plural form of that and when we look at these keywords in these groups we can see double hung window and double hung windows and I know double hung is a weird name it's just a type of window so we can select these by holding the control key again and we can say just ask yourself what would be a good group what would be a good name for a group so I see double hung windows single hung vinyl replacement windows, wood replacement windows, wood casement windows, wood sliding windows, and so on. You just The point is you go through this list in the data grid area and then you can find keyword groups that you want to create. So let's go ahead and just create groups. I do that by right clicking it and clicking create groups or I can go down here and click this button down at the bottom that says create groups. So I created those groups. You saw them create here in the tree. And now those keywords are removed from this area here. What I like to do is reanalyze the keyword list to make sure that the data grid area is refreshed and updated after I group a major group of keywords. So we see vinyl bay windows and so on. Another trick you could say is, let's just say that the ad group must contain window so we can put the group must contain a certain whatever. So in this situation, I'm just going to say the group must contain the string window. So let's go ahead, because we might see something in here that does not contain. Like we see wood sliding, that doesn't contain window. And we want groups that only contain window. So let's go ahead and analyze this, and every single group will contain window. And now we can just decide what groups we actually want. We have wood windows, vinyl windows, basement windows, and so on. Now I want to show you the keyword grouper. So you can launch the keyword grouper here, and you can actually add your own. So if we wanted to say we want a group called vinyl windows, wood windows, right? Hit OK, and those groups are there. If we hit next, we can see a preview of what those keywords will go into those groups. So this group would have 92 keywords. Vinyl windows would have 147. So I'm not going to create groups. Let's actually use the generated common themes button. And that's going to look at our keyword density of our list using the settings within the program here, just as it used to just as it did before. We can hit next to preview what exactly would be created. And if everything looks good, in this example, I'm just going to say everything looks great. Let's just hit finish. So now we don't have any keywords left in our keyword list. All of our keywords have been grouped. There are no keywords left to analyze. One thing I did want to show you is you can export the results within this data grid area. So we see this column, this column. We can actually export these results by clicking export. You'll get a preview. You can go up to file and then you can choose CSV or Excel, whatever you choose. 
And here, don't mess with anything. It, really, I never mess with anything. Just hit OK. This is going to ask you where to save it. Let's go ahead and just save it wherever. Hit Save. And then it'll ask you, do you want to open this file? So when you say yes, this is what you see. So you can export the keyword frequency of your keyword list into a format that you might be familiar with. For this example, it's in Excel. So that is how you kind of use the grouping methods within PPC Campaign Generator. Since we already have our groups created now, in the next video I'll show you what you can do on the Groups tab.